Hi everyone, this is Anne Welsh and welcome to Painless Universal, a conversation with me, Anne Welsh. Today I'll be talking to Muna. Muna have inspired me. I followed her page, I followed her with her work. We've talked. She's inspired me by what she does. She's a young, beautiful lady from Iran who lives now in Switzerland. She's a private banker. She's a mother, and she's so hardworking. Meet Muna. Oh, hi everyone again. Welcome to Painless Universal. I've got Muna here. I did a brief introduction again, and I talked briefly about how I'm so inspired about you. Your story is one that inspires me because... Um, Somewhat, we're very similar. I'm from, I'm from Nigeria, came over to the UK and just worked very hard to you know, get the job in investment banking when I started. And there are you, you are still, you know, still in that sector, still doing well. But before I start, I wanted people to know a little bit about that, your, your, your own journey, because your journey is so inspirational and you need to encourage more and more women to you know, go out there and be in this field. Thank you. So, um, background, I'm from Iran, so I was born in Iran uh, and I was raised in Switzerland. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my mom used to be um, uh, like a very strong woman, a lot of power in the country. And when we came into Switzerland, she, she had to just, you know, take care of the children and stop working and being like a constant mom. Mm -hmm. So she was really a role model for me. And when I grew up, I wanted to do something more into languages. Mm. And I was not really sure if I do uh, try, trying to do something in like translation, working in the United Nations. I was not really inspired and she really pushed me and she was like, you're good in a <clears throat> relationship with people. You should go into banking. So that's why I've studied banking and then started doing some trainings in very nice banks, such as very well-known banks without giving any name. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's why I always got the inspiration of a woman that was a strong woman, working, taking care of children. And this is um, my journey. And now I'm like a senior vice president, senior banker in a private bank here in Geneva, working hard, love my, my job, and at the same time taking care of my baby. Uh, she's, uh, she's almost eight years and, uh, and that's it, working, taking yeah. care of my children. And, no, yeah. that's, that's amazing. Uh, one of the key questions I made mean, for people is that how would you find what you wanted to do? I know you said your mom was a big inspiration, but as a woman, I know as a woman, you know, coming from Africa, it's not easy in Nigeria, particularly my, in my case. It's not easy to really hustle in this world. You're, you've chosen a sector, private banking, and that's very, you know, very, very male-dominated world. How did you navigate yourself to find your find who you were? Well, <clears throat> I think it's, it's not very easy for a woman, and I think we had already this conversation. It's yeah. not very easy because when you prospect a very um, important client, he has to understand that you're coming as a banker and you're not coming as a woman. So just being in the middle of still being a very strong woman and being a banker is a little bit complicated from time to time. Mm -hmm. But with experience, you understand that you have to keep your personality, but you have to differentiate yourself by being not too friendly and being very professional. Same in the office, because mm, I don't think, I think obviously you have more men than women being banker in this world. Yes. So you have to stay like you are, not become, you know, one of these women that are very, mm. very strict, very um, closed minded. Yeah. I'm still very open minded and but try to protect myself by not giving too much to people. Yeah. They can be a prospect clients or, or, or colleagues. You yeah. have to, to keep your privacy private and also to your uh, inspiration and work um, environment. You have to differentiate everything, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Yeah, true. And how have you, how have you balanced the two? Motherhood and career. Some people juggle that, some people find it easy, some people just absolutely can't do it. Well, for me, it's easy. And I think for having a, a balanced life, you have, to, you have to have a good organization. Mm. You have to 
to have someone that can help you with your daughter when you have to work, when you have to do late dinner, or when you have to travel. Mm -hmm. And you have to, uh, to know this is, at this time, I have to be very concentrated with my job. And after, I don't know, 7 p.m., you have to forget a little bit about your phone, your, your mobile, uh, your computer, your PC, your clients, mm -hmm. and be very a mom. You have to be 100% the role that you have to do at this uh, certain time. If you start mixing everything, uh, I was not always very dedicated by separating the job and the, the, the mother role. And mm -hmm. my daughter was complaining like, oh, you're always on the phone. Can you stop being on the phone? You have to spend some time with me. And at the same time, I had a client calling and I was my, having my daughter crying on, on the background and they were like, can, can you, can you, can you do, go somewhere else? So just finding the right time to do the right task, mm -hmm. like, that's the key. I, I agree, because I, I also have my daughter, my son is a little bit, he's 10, so he kind of understand and he just walks away now and he can keep himself busy. But sometimes what I've realized, what is he keeping himself busy doing? He's not keeping himself doing work and researching, he's keeping himself busy on games. But when mm -hmm. he knows I'm there, I'm there to monitor him, I feel he's more concentrated. So I started to like, you know what? enough if it's time for work we do work if it's not time if it's time to spend time with them i would definitely spend quality time not half and half and i i, I totally echo you're what so right yeah. you're so right and sometimes i was feeling guilty because um i was talking to my friends and you know everyone has different inspiration in life i mm. would not be able to stay at home and just take care of my child and i would be very I don't think I would be able to have a, 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 a normal life and a, and a peaceful life if I was just taking care of my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I was sometimes talking to some friends that, they were, that were not working and taking care of children 100%. And I was telling them, oh, I feel guilty sometimes as I'm not spending that much time with my daughter. And they said, mm -hmm. you know what? Key is quality time. I can be with my daughter. They were telling me I can be with my daughter, I don't know, 10 hours and not be concentrated because I'm fed up. I cannot anymore. Mm. When I spend time with my daughter, it's quality time. It's just for her. We do what she likes. We do things that are, you know, important for her. And I think she understands that it, she will have another view on woman when she will grow up and a woman can work and she can do whatever she wants. She can decide to stay home or work. So I think it's also a good model that you and me are giving to, to our children. No, absolutely. Um, you know, with the current climate, with the coronavirus and everything, how is that affecting the banking world and where, you know, the organization you're in? Well, um, I'm very happy to be uh, in, in the bank that I am uh, yeah. mm -hmm. for the moment because <clears throat> I think they really put a big focus on employee health and security. Mm. So the moment, since I think three months, I'm working from home, as you can see, with the clothes and the, the background. The casualness and everything. <laughs> I did my hair and makeup a little bit for you, especially for I, you. I know. I know. <laughs> I love. And, uh, trying to be a little bit more, uh, yeah, you know, uh, ready for the, for the camera. Uh -huh. uh, no, but working from home is just, I think that there is no normal anymore. You, everyone understands that you are working from home. They don't expect an answer in like three seconds as they used to, to expect before. Mm -hmm. uh, we just have to be uh, uh, available and um, clients understand. My bank is very open-minded. We have to be from home, mm -hmm. uh, available when we can they understand that we have children and the children were not going to school for like almost, I don't know, one and a half months. Mm -hmm. So uh, very good balance between taking care of employee and continue working. Mm -hmm. And in the, in the companies that are very focusing on employee, mm -hmm. I think the employee feel safe and feel valued and give back very well to the company. So we've done a very good start of year. Everyone is very happy. Mm -hmm. They don't expect us to be back tomorrow uh, in the office. Uh, very uh, cautious about uh, the, the return in the office. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy. My clients they perfectly understand. Yesterday, as you know, I was in Geneva. That was the first time for me traveling after almost traveling after almost uh, two months. And everyone is very happy. And the discussion has changed a little bit. We don't have the same... Uh, 
everyone is speaking about COVID and everyone is speaking about what's next. Yes. Well, we see what's next. Because yeah. if, if there's a second wave, everyone is uh, also a bit, a bit panicky on both sides. Well, and how is Switzerland taking the, how did Switzerland deal with it when you're, you're <clears throat> I think Switzerland was um, um, cautious, but at, at the same time, keeping in mind that the economy is key. If the, the company uh, mm. start um, like closing and shutting down, it's going to be very bad for the economy like other mm. countries are, are, are experiencing right now. Mm. So Switzerland had not a strict Mm. But let's say uh, a, a normal uh, lockdown, um, restaurants were closed, schools were closed, but the shops for, uh, as everywhere, grocery shops, uh, yeah, I was able to go every day uh, buying my bread or buying my milk, whatever was needed. I know some other countries, I was talking to some friends, um, it's pretty, completely different. I know in Argentina, you cannot, depending on your security number, you have just the Monday where you can go on different days in the week. Mauritius Island, depending on your last name, if you, yeah. your last name is, uh, I don't know. Like my Welsh. <laughs> yeah, well, so you may be the last person in the week that can go in the grocery shop. So you have one day defined by the last yeah. names. <laughs> so much more strict than us. For us, it um, was pretty okay, I think. The numbers were good. The numbers were pretty low in, um, in uh, Switzerland. So that's very, very positive. Um, very positive. And a final note, and I don't want to keep you busy because I know you. I, took, I squeezed you out of your busy, busy schedule. Don't worry. Um, don't. Women who are watching this will be inspired by you. And a lot of them would want to, some just had kids, want to go back to work. They're nervous about going back to work, about their acceptances, if they will be accepted. Some don't know what skill set they need to have to go back to the kind of business you're doing. What advice would you have for them? Because I'm not going to keep it too long, but what, what would you tell them? I think I would tell the woman to listen to their heart and do what they like to do. Um, I think if you work too hard because you put in your mind that a woman has to work, it's not going to work. And if you stay at home because you think a mother has to stay home and take care 24 hours a day uh, of the children, it's not going to work. You have to find a balance in your life. Mm. Doing too much of something is never going to work. <clears throat> I think for, for my type of services and business mm. you have to have a good communication skill uh, as you know yeah, and, uh, you have to be open-minded mm. uh, be available to person to, to the people that you are meeting mm. and um, I think being honest with yourself and with people is key so just to find a good balance between personal life and private life and do what you like I, you know I, I sometimes I, I, I sound very dedicated to work but this is something i really love if you have to talk to me about what's your passion in life i would be my daughter first mm -hmm. uh, my family and my my job i love what you do i love what i'm doing so um, i'm very happy about the balance i'm putting in my life oh i agree because i think once you love what you do it doesn't feel like work anymore it just, absolutely it just feels like you're going on and going on and you have a hobby which you enjoy doing and it doesn't matter what Absolutely. Time of day it is and you then you're also able to find the balance as well you're not whining about it yeah now Muna thank you so much this is so inspirational I need it pleasure um, I'm sorry we, we took I took you out of your busy busy I know how busy things are <laughs> never for you never for you, you can <laughs> but I had to drag you out <laughs> and, and to get this from you thank you so much and I thank really, you so really much. look forward to um, catching up with you again soon very soon in Geneva or London Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Bye-bye, okay. darling. Okay. Bye. Bye.